Health bar settings. This is what I was working with. Because I actually got optimal shit with it. Cause you know how his regular combo is like this. Right? 44.95, right? Now. You can do stuff like that. And since baby's assist starts a little slower, you have to actually do it earlier. Fifty four ten, right? But I didn't have to I could have used that knockdown at the end. I didn't have to do that right there. Right? You just have to do something like that. Just so you can keep the two three six in. I could probably just do uh five LL right there. See, 54, 41. Hold on. Yo, I got so optimal with this character last night. Fifty-five, sixty-one. Hold on, we're not done yet. <laughs> Fifty-nine thirty. Hold on, we're not done yet. And you can dragon rush there. This character can get so much damage. Sixty-three oh four. There. Now go learn hit. <laughs> I just optimized the hell out of this character, and I wasn't even done yet. Cause he can do stuff like this, right? He has a special link where he can combo that. This character. This character is OD. I figured out how to actually like do his that and actually combo from it. So now instead of doing like this, that's that. 38.95, right? From 2M. And since it's a medium starter. Yeah, you can definitely you can you could have done all the that. I just did it because that's why I had it on uh that combo that I just did right there. It was a TOD if he's uh he's the last character and he has limit break. That's why you saw the only had hit or UI, but that's what I was doing. But you can actually um okay, so what was that again? Okay, forty four ninety five. Right? And if you do this one forty seven fifty, are you serious? You have to, you have to, yeah. It's crazy. I'm like, I'm about to main hit. It's too late now. Oh, I actually did submit my emote too. So it is on the way. <laughs> That's so crazy. Y'all had to pull up yesterday. Y'all was walling out. And my girlfriend about to hit affiliate too. Izanami was up in her stream. She had, her, her stuff was popping too, low key. I was like, I should have got back on Animal Crossing. But yeah, he just gets mad damage. So you have to, instead of doing all three of these, if you do his 236M, what is the name of his moves? Because he's one of those characters that's so specific that you have to just name the moves that he has. Okay. Tides of Time. So if you do his Tides of Time, if you just do 5L right there, he'll do a straight. And if you do 2L, he'll do down, right? And then if you do that one, he'll go up. 
So if you do regular ones, that's how you just get this combo. But after the first 5L, you have to uh, do 2L right there. So you'll actually hit him downwards. Because if you don't, he'll hit him downwards at the end, see? But what you have to do is, after this first one, delay it after that first hit. Like, let him float a little bit. And then do the next two. The trick to this is, hold up, because now we're in the studio, so we got a full screen. The trick to this is, look at the difference. You saw where I actually hit him up at right there? I'll show you. You see how low he was when he actually hit him up? Like he was actually at his feet. And you see right there, like when he hit him up, he was like right above his, uh, like right above like eye level. That's the that's the guaranteed way that you know that you did it. See, and then that actually gives this like three or four more frames when it hits. That way you can actually connect to another five L since it's only six frames. So that three or four frames that you actually need it is how you get it. If that makes sense, I'm trying to explain it numerically. Cause like I know a lot of people don't know frame data, but see, and then if you don't get it, then there you go. And you can do it with this one too. This one from Five L L L, you have to do the E X uh, ties of time and hit them down. So down and then straight and then up. So it'll look like this. And the same thing follows for this. Like if you do it that way, and when you do your five LLL, when he hits them straight like that, if they're too low to the ground, he won't do it. The same thing, it has to be at eye level. Like just like with this one, it has to be like right there on eye level. So when he does it right here, you still have to delay the first one and get the uh, next two hits after, like this. See? <laughs> it's sick. You actually, so you can do both of those in the same combo. Hold up. Is that the machine is affiliate? <laughs> no, for real. That's why I'm finna pull a mad hour. You know what I mean? No, it's all good. Look, it's always appreciated, but it's never expected. It's nothing that you have to do. So I appreciate all the support. <laughs> Did he with the games? Yo, that's crazy. I don't even know how I will get a next uh, slot. I don't even know how I get a next emo slot. But yeah, I told y'all what it was if y'all didn't know. If y'all forgot, I hinted at what I was going to be yesterday on yesterday's stream. And which is why I'm using hit as well. So yeah, you can just do mad damage with him. So it's only when uh it's only when he's in sparking. Well not sparking, it's only when he's in limit break, just to answer your question. Because you did ask. Uh he can definitely do more TODs. Like, way more TODs from, like, super dashes. Like, if they super dash, or you do this, and then you, that, that starts a TOD right there. And you can just do a combo. You can still do, like, these, too. And get the extra link from that. But this one is just from this. You have to just do both of the, uh, the routes I just talked about. Right, that's that's what it is. You can obviously do like other level ones and level ones, level threes, but that just lets you know from an optimal route you can get both of those. But that's just combos. You have to know how to use hit like whenever they're gonna land, or if you know people like using projectiles, because that still goes through them. And then that's go that goes to the other side. So as you know, they're gonna do like a bunch of five H's, or if I said five H, wow. If they do like a bunch of five S, if they have like multi hitting, or like Vegeta Blue for instance, cause he does the two in the air when he throws them. Like if you just land and then do that, then you at least get under them. But if you like, depending on where they are, that's why you would use this one. So the key blast miss. And then you'll land where he's landing behind him. This is for like, 
if you like go like that and try to catch them when they're jumping backwards. And then if you got full screen stuff, do this and do another one. We about to get in the games, actually. Why am I even talking?